This channel, Games with Woody, has gained over 2 million subscribers in just one year. So what are they doing? They're making these hilarious videos where Messi, Ronaldo, Sonic, and others end up in the most random and funny situations. This niche targets Gen Z, an audience that likes funny and humorous videos, football, and Ronaldo's, as well as Messi's fans, which makes this niche extremely broader and viral. But if you want to play the safe side and still get viral, then I suggest avoid using celebrity and instead of them use random AI generated characters while still generating similar stories. And it's not just games with Woody. Other channels are blowing up in this niche too. Goat vs AI has over 300k subs with only 26 shorts. Tilly tells you has hit 500k subs with just 12 videos. The growth is insane and if you follow the steps I'm about to share, you could be the next viral success in this niche. Our first step will be to do deep analytics on these channels to identify trending topics, uploading days, and keywords so we can stay ahead of 95% of the creators in this niche. We'll be using Virlo AI for this. Now, I know some people say Virlo is useless, but let me tell you, I used the same useless Virlo and went viral with my second short gaining over 27,000 views and more than 13,000 views on my third short while others are stuck in the zero view or 1K view jail. The secret, the deep analytics provided by Verlo. And just to let you know, I'm on a challenge and will reveal my shorts channel soon enough. Okay, so first of all, simply create an account in Verlo, and when you land on the homepage, you will get some niches to get started with. If you are just starting out, you can use these niches as well, but let's head to our main topic. For that, simply head to Creator Search, and then you need to select YouTube, and after that, just head to whichever channel you need to analyze and copy their channel handle, and just paste it into Verlo, and you have an option to fetch up to 100 videos of that particular channel. Now, I will tell you what I did that made me break out in my second short. So first, I always check out the virality score because it's the most important thing. If a niche has less than 50 virality score, just dump it straight. After that, what I did is I used Verlo's AI topic generator to get video ideas, but there's something else I did instead of just picking a random topic from these. So what I did is I generated video ideas and I wrote down the topic with the highest score and then I regenerate the topics and I select another video topic with the highest possible possible score and for the third time, I again regenerate, but this time, I pick a topic that I like. Doesn't matter if it has the highest score or the lowest. After noting all the three topics, I just use GPT to select one of them. I provide GPT with all three topics that I collected, and I ask GPT to select one of the video topics with the highest virality chances, and also tell me the reason of picking the topic. In case GPT selects the topic you picked regardless of the score at last, then don't waste a single second and use that topic to create your video because a topic that admired you and GPT as well has the most chances of going viral because it definitely has something that both you and GPT picked. But in case GPT picks another topic, go with that topic. But you shouldn't post your short just at any time or any day. For shorts, uploading day and time matters a lot. For that, you must check the graph chart provided by Verlo and see during which day the graph is highest and upload at that day. And to easily break zero views jail, just like I did straight from the first short, you need to use the keywords suggested by Verlo in your title, description, and tags as well while uploading your video on any platform. Okay, so once you have the video topic, I will show you how to get a killer script. And for that, I have written some prompts that you can use to get your scripts in a matter of seconds, and all these prompts will give you 100% accurate results. You can access these prompts from the prompts section in my Discord. I will leave the link to my Discord in the description of this video. You don't have to guess what works. The prompt is designed to give you the perfect script, all set to go with all the dialogues and scenes mapped out for you. Super simple. You just plug in your video topic where the brackets are and boom, you've got your script. You don't need to overthink this. I've done all the testing and trust me, this works. And the best part is this prompt is also built smartly to play it safe. It doesn't use actual celebrities like Messi or Ronaldo, but it guides GPT to create similar characters and stories that give the same entertaining vibe without risking copyright or strike issues. But the next part is even easier. We need images for every scene, right? Well, I've got you covered there too. I've written another prompt that will tell GPT to create one unique image per scene, so no copy pasting the same visuals over and over. Now here's where it gets even better. You ready for this? I'm about to show you the AI tool that all these viral channels are using to make their visuals look insane, and it's completely free. It's called Microsoft Designer. I'll show you how to use it next. 
First things first, create a free account in Microsoft Designer. And hey, if you don't want to ever run out of credits, just use temp mail method. Trust me, it's a game changer. Once you've got your account, simply select images and then head back to ChatGPT. Grab the first image prompt from there and paste it into Microsoft Designer. At the end of each prompt, add highly detailed hyper-realism 4K for that extra crispy quality. Seriously, you want those top-tier results. Don't forget to set the image format to vertical since that's what we need for shorts, then just hit generate. Now here's the magic. Microsoft Designer is so damn good because it uses DAL E3 and all the big viral channels are using it for their high quality images. You'll be amazed at how close your images look to what these channels are putting out. It's next level. And once you've got your images, I highly recommend downloading at least two images per scene. Why? Because you want to keep the video moving fast, right? Show a new image every two to three seconds. That's how you keep your audience engaged and minimize that drop-off. Trust me, this is one of the easiest ways to increase your chances of going viral. Once the images are ready, it's time to get our voiceover. And for that, we will use Eleven Labs. You just need to copy and paste each dialog one by one into Eleven Labs and generate the voiceover in parts to keep everything clear and manageable. Now, head to the voice library, where you'll find tons of different voices available. Take your time here. Listen carefully to as many voices as possible and pick the ones that match the vibe of your characters. The key is to choose voices that you will keep using consistently in all your videos to build a recognizable style for your audience. Once you've picked the right voices, make sure to add them to your personal voice list inside Eleven Labs so you don't have to search again later. This saves a lot of time and keeps your content uniform. After selecting your voices, generate the voiceovers for each dialogue section by section and you're all set for the next step. Once all the material is ready, simply import everything in CapCut and today I will show you some editing tricks that will boost your overall retention by 20 to 30 percent. So first, you need to place all the dialogues on the timeline in sequence, and if there are any silent areas in the voiceover, make sure to get rid of them to ensure a fast pacing in the overall video. Once all the dialogues are accurately placed, after that, place all the clips on the timeline, and since we created two images per dialogue, you can place two images per dialogue with each around one to two seconds or three seconds long, depending on the actual length of the dialogue, and you have to place all the clips accordingly but make sure the length of each image doesn't exceed three seconds. Once all the clips are also placed on the voiceover, then you need to add some cool and shaky transitions between each clip. Here you can add different types of crispy transitions to increase the overall appearance of your video, but make sure to apply transitions according to the scenes to make them more dramatic and engaging. For such funny videos, shaky transitions and transitions related to fire perform amazingly well. And not just that, you can add effects as well. A hidden retention-boosting secret in intense scenes. Only add an effect called energy. It will add those wild frustration and speed lines along with shake animation into the clip, giving it a sense of frustration or seriousness. Besides, there are other natural effects available as well, like rain or thunder. Depending on your topic and scenes, you can use these effects. Guys, CapCut has a very massive library of effects and many other things. If you can just explore them, you can make wow-level videos which will make people doubt whether they were created in Premiere Pro or actually cap cut, but you need to be creative. After that, the retention booster comes, the captions. You can literally generate captions in cap cut in a single click, and it doesn't end here. There is a large collection of tons of different short and long templates which you can apply to captions in just a single click. But in the case of shorts, I totally suggest you go with short captions as they are proven to increase retention significantly. Once the captions are applied, it's time to add sound effects, and for sound effects, you have two options, and you can use both. One is cap cuts built in copyright free sound effects and the other is Pixabay sound effects. Although Pixabay might have copyrighted music, their sound effects are copyright free. I myself use some of them in every video. You can apply relatable sound effects onto your clips depending on the scene. And in final, you can also add background music to your overall video. There are literally tons of copyright free music providing channels on YouTube. All they ask is for a credit in your video description and that's it. You don't even need to pay for music, but make sure to use music from trusted channels if you want to avoid copyright claims. Must read out their descriptions before using the music and make sure to reduce the volume of the music in CapCut. And our video is also ready. Let's watch it.
Okay, Ben, today's the day. Rico and Leo are going head to head in a battle of survival. Minecraft versus Among Us. Who's gonna win? Oh, Leo's got this, obviously. He's a magician with the ball. He'll build the best Minecraft house ever. Nah, bro, Rico's got the speed. He'll build a mansion in Minecraft in 10 seconds flat, while Leo's still figuring out how to make a door. Nah, Rico's got that smooth, clever style. Leo will be too busy flexing in front of the mirror to figure out how to mine diamonds. What was that? Did they just blow up the Minecraft world? No, it was the imposter. It's an Among Us twist. They're both in space now. Who's gonna survive? Okay guys, now let's upload our video on YouTube with proper SEO. And for that, we will once again use GPT and Verlo. First, you need to provide GPT with the prompt for SEO. And the prompt is customizable. You need to add your script in the prompt as well as the viral and most searched keywords to increase your chances of going viral, just like I did. And for that purpose, you need to copy up the keywords suggested by Verlo and one by one place each keyword in the brackets where it asks to provide keywords. Once provided, just hit enter and GPT will provide you with the most accurate SEO that you need to just copy paste into your video. This SEO is so to the point that it will help the algorithm understand what the video is actually about and to which audience it should push the video to. And this easily breaks your issue of zero views and make sure to turn altered content to yes at all costs. And it will cover all the policies related to content involving AI generated content featuring real people so you don't face any trouble and keep the category entertainment after that coming down to the uploading time so far from what i have noticed posting your videos around 5 to 6 p.m or during 8 a.m to 11 a.m performs the best so make sure to test your videos by uploading at different times in the beginning and then stick to one time when you find out your perfect uploading time like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video